Hello friends, welcome to the Take Better Photos channel. We're here with another video and this time we're going to be talking about Luminar's new updates for December. So in case you didn't know, in December, Skylum released two intriguing updates for Luminar Neo, one after the other. And in this video, I'm going to evaluate each update's usefulness and give my opinion on whether any of these updates meaningfully improve your photos. So the first update, 1.6.0 for Luminar Neo, came in on December 15. And this update added in an extension called Magic Light, which is the seventh extension for Luminar Neo. This extension allows you to control multiple light sources in your photo. It uses a neural network to analyze the photo and looks for any points of emitting light. It then allows you to make them more intense, add beams, and adjust the glow. It works best with artificial light sources, such as incandescent or LED light bulbs. So sounds really interesting. Let's see this in action. All right, here we are in Luminar Neo. Let's just take a look at magic light in action. This photo meets the prerequisites for a magic light type of application since it contains all of these artificial lights. Let's activate Magic Light now by going into Extensions and choosing Magic Light. So you start off with the Intensity slider here. And as you can see, it does work. It's hitting a lot of the lights here and making them look more brilliant. It allows you to adjust the size of the light beam width, the glow, clearness, which seems to emphasize the rays here, and brightness, which works similar to intensity, it seems. I right, don't know why they have to included a brightness slider in addition to the intensity slider. And then you can also add the number of beams. So that's pretty cool. And you can also change the rotation which I don't know why you would want to do that. But as you can see, it looks very realistic and it really makes the image come alive. You can always compare it with the original. So definitely it works. The second update I'd like to talk about is update 1.6.2, which was released on December 29 improvement in this update is both upscale AI and super sharp AI extensions now have face enhancer AI technology. Face enhancer AI technology will allow faces to be enhanced and make them appear clearer and sharper in blurry or low resolution photos. I'm just going to demo face enhancer in super sharp AI so we can see what kind of performance Face Enhancer offers. So here I am in Luminar Neo. And so if you can zoom in and see that it really is blurred and needs some sharpening. Let's click Edit here and apply Super Sharp AI. So I'm going to put it at maximum universal. And just click High here. So I'm going to do the sharpening without Face Enhancer technology first. Okay, so this is the result without face enhancer. Again, if you want to compare it. So it did enhance it marginally. But what happens if we add in face enhancer? Let's see how it will look like. As you can see, it did sharpen the face a little more. The sharpening is more prominent compared to the sharpening without face enhancer. We can always compare it by unchecking Face Enhancer here. So that's the one with Face Enhancer. You can see the features are still pretty blurred, but with Face Enhancer, it is now much sharper. Okay, so at least with Face Enhancer, you can see the effect compared to the previous one where the effect was not very obvious. Let's look at some other photos. Let's have this one right here. Again, another blurred shot.
you can see that the skin has been smoothened but overall the sharpening is a little bit more pronounced So you can see that the features of the face are much more defined with Face Enhancer. And again, this is without Face Enhancer, and this is with Face Enhancer. So to my eyes, I can see the improvement. And for this image, I would prefer to have Face Enhancer turned on. Now, unfortunately, Face Enhancer doesn't always work. So here we have another blurred image. If I go to Super Sharp here, and then I am just choose High. So as you can see, pretty natural looking without the Face Enhancer. Now if we turn on Face Enhancer, so that is the result. So you can now compare it without Face Enhancer and with Face Enhancer. Without and with Face Enhancer. Now in this situation, I would prefer Face Enhancer be turned off because the resulting image does look pretty different from the original face, such that the baby's face here looks like it underwent some plastic surgery. Right? So that is a flaw in the face enhancer technology. The AI might make the image look like a different person. Let's look at another example here. I'm seeing what the AI is doing here, right? It is um, recreating some of the details of the face. In the recreation process, um, the look of the face becomes totally deformed. So this was good for a few laughs. And the good news is you can always turn off Face Enhancer. Luminar has really been improving their technology. You know, at least now the effect is more prominent. In fact, I can see that Luminar has really improved their sharpening algorithm. When I use Super Sharp AI when it was first released, this was the kind of result I was getting. The current sharpening now is much more natural looking and the face enhancer is a good addition I will say. So what's my verdict on these two updates? For Magic Light, I think this is a unique tool and it works very well. The results are very natural and the controls are very easy to understand. That being said, the use case for Magic Light is pretty narrow in my view. I'm not sure if there are many photographers who would actually be using this feature a great deal. But it's nice for Luminar to try something different. Do let me know in the comments if you're one of those who find Magic Light a significant feature. The more impactful update to me is certainly Face Enhancer. It does improve the sharpness of blurred images. And as I mentioned before, Skylum has really been improving Super Sharp AI. I have observed the improvement of Super Sharp AI whether there's face enhancement or not. So there you have it. Those are the two new updates from Luminar Neo. I'm sure there's going to be more to come in the future. Do let me know in the comments if you're using any of these extensions and what you think of the new updates. I'd love to hear from you. And if you like this type of content, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share to help keep the videos coming. And till the next video, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.